This video describes a staking plan for placing a series of lays for a set lay liability. That allows us to control our lay liabilities with each lay. So this, this strategy is simply to set a lay liability in the spreadsheet and all our lays, whatever the odds, will have that liability if we are unlucky and happen to hit a winner. You can reset the liability at any time so you may want to increase it if you've had a good run of profits and uh, all the previous results that have taken place in your staking so far are retained in the spreadsheet. A graph is uh, included to show the progress of your lays and uh, suitable results using this staking method can be surprisingly profitable. There is no increase of stakes if you happen to be unlucky and hit winners with your lays so no loss recovery staking is involved in this staking plan. OK let's have a look at the spreadsheet. Right here we are in the spreadsheet. Uh, quite a familiar layout if you've seen my other staking plan spreadsheets. Input the date in column A, the details of your runners or your football teams or whatever in column B. Input your lay odds in column C and if you hit a winner, enter a 1, and if you hit a loser, enter a 0, or leave it blank. There's an adjust column there, for if you want to adjust the size of your lay, if you wanted to, if you were due to lay £2.11 and you only got £2 match, you might want to reduce that, settle for £2, so just put minus 0 0.11 there, and it reduces it down to £2. Uh, so these are your stakes, that your lay stakes that you put in Betfair or BetDAC. And as you hit winners or losers, your profit or your loss or your profit is shown in uh, in this column here. And whatever's in that column there is uh, added together up, up in this column here. In this uh, in column I, set your the li the liability of your lays if you hit a winner, and uh, set your commission in column J there. Now we can alter that uh, liability, we'll look, look at that in a moment. And over to the right here you can see the edge of a graph in the picture there and there's a graph that shows the progress of your lays. Now this will, your graph will alter any alterations in the, in the spreadsheet and this graph will be updated. OK. Now we can see in this example that we're I've set the liability at uh, £40, so if you happen to hit a winner with any of these, your liabilities will be minus 40. So if we make that a winner, put a 1 in there, and that has a liability of 40. So that was odds of 60, that is odds of 5, so odds of 9.78. That's also liabilities of 40, so you can see what's happening here. Uh, you have different size stakes depending on the size of the odds and if you happen to hit a winner your loss will be what you set in column I. Now if uh, you know there's some good results or, or for any other reason you alter your uh, your set liability you might if you just for the sake of it will alter it down to 10 and you'll see that these uh, liabilities down here will change down to 10 below that. And there we are look. So any odds that you put in there, if you hit a winner, will produce a liability of 10. So if you altered that below, that, so that applies all down there. If you'd altered it back up or something, put it back up to 20, your liabilities then below there would become 20. So 40 is retained for that, those two rows, 10 is retained for those, and it, uh, once you reset it again, 20 is now retained for anything below there. So that is how the resetting of the liability works. And as you can see, the graph has updated in line with what's happened in that column there. So to clear the spreadsheet, delete those columns there, A to E, and delete anything you've got in there, and set your, li your liability to whatever level you're comfortable with, say so we set it to 20, 
and then you can go ahead and start doing your lays. Now you put the date in as usual as 5 slash 7 gets you the 5th of July and 8 slash 8 gets you the 8th of August and so on. Put the details of your runners in there. The horse one and enter its lay odds say we'd lay it at odds of four or something and uh, if it loses, oh we see our lay stake there that we need to put in Betfair if it um, if it loses we win that amount less commission and that goes into our profit and loss column there if it wins put a one in there and we uh, we lose our 20 pounds and on with the next one enter a note or a or a just leave it blank if it loses. Put the next horse in. These odds might be five or something. And once again, lay your fiver in in Betfair. If it if you hit a loser, you've made four pounds seventy five, and your profit added together becomes eleven pounds and eight pence. Now if you uh, um, put the ninth of August in there. We've put one in at short odds and get the profit up a little bit just for the sake of this demonstration. Put one in at evens and we've laid £20 there. And uh, if that loses, if we're really lucky, uh, our profit now stands at 30 so we, we may decide to increase our set liability a bit and, um, and boost our profits a bit with some, some slightly bigger staking. So so we, must, we may put our next runs up to a liability of 25. Put another one in, 10th of August, the football team or something. And uh, say their odds are 3.5. Now we've, we've uh, if, we'd, if we'd left that at 20, with our stake wouldn't have been 10. I'll just delete that. Our stake would have been 8 pounds, so by increasing that to 25, you can see we're laying a slightly more, so that boosts our profits a little bit once if we can get in front. Now if we happen to hit a winner with that one, we lose £25, but we, we can still see we're still in profit, so we can carry on and do some more. Another, put another date in as well, save a bit of type in there, and carry on and lay the next one, and, and so on. And if, if you happen to get uh, up um, into, into some bigger profits and you get back up to up above where you were, say you laid another couple of evens or something, and your, bunk, your profits are bumping up again, you may decide to increase up to 30 and, uh, and carry on laying like that. And away you go. And everything that you're doing in your spreadsheet, of course, all your ups and downs are shown in the graph at the side just for interest. Once it gets uh, to the end of where you've got to there, that that is uh, just that point there, at the end of your, uh, your last layer, that's why it goes horizontal there, because that profit is in down there. So that is a nice simple spreadsheet for uh, later a set liability staking plan. Okay, thanks for listening and good luck with your trading.